So I did this poll, right, on uh, YouTube, and I asked my audience members, I asked the community, and I said, what would you like to see more of in 2019 from the channel? And you know what the answer was? Basically, I gave four uh, different options, right? I did uh, sales techniques, um, science of persuasion, uh, I did also motivation, and then I think I like mindset hacks. So like one of those four. The other one didn't even get paid attention to the mindset hacks. Um, the motivation didn't really get too many hits, but the most favored upon the four happened to be sales techniques as well as understanding the science of persuasion. Like how does it work? How does the influence work? And so I'm going to focus, um, you know, my next couple videos on those two topics. So if you are also curious about those two topics, you're definitely going to want to stick around, watch these videos all the way through. And in this video, I'm actually going to talk about the science of persuasion and address uh, one of the audience members' comments that talked about the the art of reciprocation, right? Like I think what they're trying to do is was basically reward their prospects for listening. And their method of rewarding them was was basically complimenting them, you know, kind of giving them that attaboy, that 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 uh, that compliment of, hey, doing you're doing a great job, doing you know you're doing so good, and they and they their strategy was basically doing it up front, and they wanted to know how I do it, you know, because they they mentioned that when watching my videos, I do it uh, most of the time unconsciously or subconsciously, I should say. <laughs> Unconscious. Can you imagine I'm just driving like just unconscious? Anyway, um, I think what they're trying to say is that I have kind of this natural uh, 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 adaptation of using that method in just the way I talk by assuming that anyone here in this audience or watching these videos are go-getters and they're self-motivated. And that's probably why not so many people actually um, chose that the motivation option when I asked, what do you want to see more of? You know, do you want to see me uh, doing more videos about holding you accountable, doing curse words. You know, I get I get those features all the time, like I, or those comments all the time. In case any of you guys would wonder, he's like, "Hey man, hey D man, I noticed you PG 13 your channel up, bro. Like you're you're not really cursing as much." And you know, I, I think that we all grow, right? And we all have to really take a step back and understand why we did certain things. And I think that the comment from this particular follower and trying to learn you know what works and what doesn't work is because they took the time to analyze what they've done and the results that they're getting and so they're they're it's called split testing basically right like marketers use this method called split testing and so they want to see how the re the reaction is or the comments differ if you use you know marketing method a versus marketing method b and so while i'm sharing content and while i'm sharing value i'm also paying attention to the small details like you know what content gets more engagement is it the one where i'm coming from the gym is it you know how did the how does that compare to the videos that you know i drop a curse word or two and then also compare it to the ones i'm doing from the home office or the ones from the office and so i consider those things because it's always important that once you spot something that works that you build off of it and then you you know you move on so to get back to the topic of this story, I'm gonna share with you a few key ways of how to use and understand the science of persuasion when you're trying to, basically what they were trying to do was influence the reward of compliance. So in other words, if the prospect listened to what we gave them as instructions, we want to reward them so they understand that they did a good job and they would be influenced to continue listening to us at times that we're in need. But I believe that there is a more effective way. We just need to understand the, 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 the science of, of basically the persuasion, right? The, the, how they are influenced to take action. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Stick around, let's go. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about the science of persuasion and how to properly reward someone for listening to you and, and basically doing what you tell them to do. Uh, before I get into that topic, you know, for anyone who's watching and anyone who attended the uh, seminar that I did this past Saturday on December 8th, I want to thank you very much for giving me your time. Whether you logged in on the live stream or you came in in person, it was an honor to share some time with you on that early Saturday morning. I know it was a short notice and, and I know that, uh, you know, it's, for some of you guys, it was definitely a drive. I had people coming out from 30, 40 plus miles away 
And it's an honor to have that type of compliment of saying, hey man, AD, I'm gonna sacrifice my morning, you know, my Saturday morning. People are coming in there hungover. <laughs> People come in there smelling like pine cones and skunk and shit. And, uh, and hey, it's how, you know, I mean, it's legal now, right? But anyway, I appreciate you for giving me your attention. And I am certain that that, that seminar in itself gave you some, some gold nuggets to basically increase your business this week. And that is the whole motive of actually making these videos is I want to give loan officers a resource or anyone in sales, really, because I have a lot of audience members who don't even who don't even hustle loans, bro. They don't hustle loans. They don't got an NMLS license, but they use the the art and the techniques that I share here and they adapt it to their own method. You know, I got an audience member who just sells cars and this this is a young kid. He's like 22 years old. And just by, you know, listening to the content over and over or practicing it each day, he, as a 22 year old, this guy's clearing like 10, 15 G's a month, which is not bad considering that they're only, you know, 22 years old. And, uh, but it just goes to show you that these techniques, it's basically the science of selling. And so that's why I believe um, this channel should be called Sales Remastered is because it's taking an old concept. It's taking an old form of something that has already been there, which is sales. And it's remastering it to adapt to current times and adapt to current technology so that it gets through through the communication tools that we have today in order to persuade anyone from anywhere. <laughs> and so in this video, I'm going to share with you a concept. This is the concept, okay? And this is actually what I said to the audience member who wanted to learn how to properly you know, reward somebody uh, for, for listening to what they say. I told them, I said, you know, in order to, to properly persuade, you have to understand a theory. And the theory is we ourselves as humans are more likely to, to pay more or take action in order to avoid pain than we are to take action in order to secure gain. So I know it's pretty deep, right? I don't wanna get Confucius on you. But in short, the example that I use to her is, and an example I'm gonna give to us today, is that you know when we get sick or when we catch a cold or when we get the flu or whatnot, we are willing to pay the premium and get the absolute best and strongest medicine at the CVS or the drugstore. Like we'll we'll drop, you know what I mean? Like you name the price. Like you tell me that I can get over my cold or get over this flu or get get better in a day. Some of us, we'll, we'll, I'll I'll drop a couple hundo. Like give me a couple, you know what I mean? Like give me that medicine that's gonna get rid of this cold because of the fear of loss. And basically what I'm what that means is that I'm willing to pay a premium in order in order to avoid the loss of time, in order to, you know, feel like 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 shit, basically, right? And so we are more than likely to take action to avoid pain than we are to take action to secure gain. Meaning we are more likely to pay the premium for medicine that we don't naturally want. You don't usually want it, right? But we see the upside, the quick, fast upside. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be more than likely to pay a premium, take action, drive miles and miles and miles, stay, stay in, a, in a waiting room for hours just to get the remedy as opposed to take action and wake up every day in the morning, take our vitamins, go to the gym, maybe go to a morning jog, you know, eat right, whatever it is, avoid taking drugs, you know, avoid smoking. You know, we are more than likely willing to do more to avoid pain than we are to actually secure long-term gain. And so we see this all the time, but we don't really realize it because it's kind of just hardwired. And, 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 and another way of, of really understanding this is, uh, is, is basically marketing. Like when you see advertisements and you see like risk-free guarantee or uh, free shipping if you buy over $100, like we, we will actually <laughs> use that as a rule and say, "Ooh, I got to buy some extra. I got to buy another item because if I if <laughs> if I spend over $300, I get free shipping." And so we'll use that to justify because we believe that we we are going to avoid the pain of paying for expensive shipping costs. Crazy, right? Like it's just very persuasive. But you didn't necessarily have to buy that extra, you know what I mean, like that extra item just so you can save eight bucks on your postage stamp boo-boo so what we what we need to understand is that when we influence people 
to do certain things and my, my recommendation to her was is okay well D I understand the theory that makes sense but how do I apply it well how you apply it uh, you can do it in various ways if you actually download a copy of the sales script and I'll be sure to leave a, co a, a link below but if you go to salesremaster.com you could request a copy of my sales script it gives you an ideal layout of how to use that that form of persuasion because it, it's helping you avoid pain within the wording just within the sentence because their their request was how do I do this on the front end you know and outside of just the back end like I, I you know I, I I get it on how to do it on the back end but I want to do it more on the front end how do you do it more on the front end I believe what she was trying to do was dismantle the guard and kind of make them comply make them want to give you more time and if I'm correct on that you know what you could do is basically use that script or use the method within that script of how it's it's less painful it's not painful at all if anything I'm I'm the actual solution to you I'm not the problem right you have to paint that picture you have to position yourself because when you're able to do something like that and you're able to kind of be the resource for something that that helps them avoid pain they'll actually look at you more favorably than some than someone who who you know helps you retain gain or helps you secure gain. So uh, think of it as the as the teacher method, right? Like we we will be more than likely to avoid getting whipped in the ass than we will be eager to go spend some time with with our teachers on a Saturday, <laughs> right? Right? If you really think about it, like the concept and, and the information that I give right here is basically a topic that not too many salespeople really like. If you think about sales training, like if you, you know, the next time your company does sales training or the next time you have an, an, an event that is focused around sales training, like a lot of people don't really like it. Like it's because they, they, they kind of combine it with the idea of school. And you know, we are naturally wired to be like, oh man, I gotta go to school. You know, some of us are nerdy, right? So, so I get it. But at the end of the day, like no one really wants to go through training, physical training, mental training, whatever it is because it takes time, it takes, it takes energy to compute the information and the data that you're actually receiving. So no one really wants to do it, but if you think about it, this is all that I give is basically training, right? So it's mentoring. But um, if, if, if you've ever caught all the videos, if you ever left a comment, if you ever kind of revisited and checked it out, if you spent with me already, you know, 13 minutes on the damn video, then I want to let you know that it works because the idea is to help you avoid pain. You want to avoid the loss. You want to avoid the rejection, right? And you're willing to do that more than you are to secure gain because maybe like you can, you will justify to yourself, but understand that everyone justifies to themselves. So you'll justify yourself like, ah, you know, I don't need to work this weekend, even, although you could, right? I don't need to, you know, make an extra couple of calls or uh, I really don't need to, you know, move my call block to 6 p.m. to 8 p.m even though a lot of people are at home at that time, even though more people are you know, uh, not being distracted by work and they're available to talk and they're with the decision makers and they're in front of a computer and you know, they're not in a rush, even though we know that the reward and the, and the, the, the return on the investment on, on doing that is super high, we, we, we are, <laughs> get it? You guys getting this already? So I guess where I'm getting at is, if you want your prospects to feel that way, you just gotta look inside. Is because it's empathy, like what motivates you? And what motivates you is basically avoiding pain. So, so how to do this up front, and instead of rewarding them for every little thing that they do, because if you trigger them to make, to, to sound like a salesman, like, hey, good job, buddy. You know, you did good. You, number one, you're gonna kind of belitt <laughs> belittle them. They're gonna feel like, all I did was sent you a fax, boo-boo. Like, I, I sent you an email. Thanks for patting me on my back. Like, man, you're a fucking positive person. Lay off the, co the coffee, right? Um, and you don't want to be, you know, in that type of view, right? Otherwise, they're gonna feel like, man, this person trying, trying too hard to sell me. And so, how, what do you do? Is you play to their fears. You play to their fears of it being painful. 
And so, and so if we take a step back and we really analyze what our prospects' fears are, their fears are only, it's basically only a few concerns. And, and the primary concern is wasting their time because their time is the most valuable thing to all of us, right? Empathy. So we, uh, we value our time because we can't get our time back. We value our time because we're, we're basically exchanging something. So the time you've given me on this video, you could have done, you know, uh, spent, maybe working out or spent eating or spent whatever it is that you were in the, in the process of doing right now. You could have spent time to listen to Ryan's Roses or whatever radio show that you have in your local area. You know, it, 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 it's really just, it, it's, it's sacrifice, it's exchanging. Make sense? And so people value their time. They don't want to waste it. Also, our prospects um, don't want to be taken advantage of. And so this is why they say, I want the lowest price. I want the no fee service. What are your best programs? Basically, what they're saying is they want to save time and they want to save money. So play off those emotions. And that's how you, you covertly um, actually give them an attaboy, but, but more importantly, you open them up so you can discover how to properly give them an attaboy. And our attaboy, instead of complimenting them for every little action or every little thing that they do, is that you want to, um, you know, uh, understand how they compute information, understand what makes them tick, understand what makes them move. And so, you know, again, that's, that's deeper in the science of persuasion. If you want to learn more about that, I got something special for you. There is a, a small basic course that I have. It's called Closing Secrets 101. And it teaches you all about the science of persuasion. It teaches you all about the, the persuasive words. It teaches you all the sales techniques you need to know from hello, my name is, all the way to congratulations, your loan funded. Like the entire process. I mean, granted, it's not as in-depth and thorough as the secret formula, but A, this course, this mini course, um, Closing Secrets 101 will ramp up your business fast and it's going to just give you a surge of, of production and thus, of course, give you a surge of fundings and those fundings will give you a surge of cash income. And then when you're ready and you're actually able to afford it, take that take that profit that you've made from that course and go get the sales boost camp. Go get the, the secret formula. Hit me up and be like, all right, D, I'm ready, right? Like get the mentoring that you need, boo-boo. Otherwise, all you're going to be doing, all you're going to be doing, right, is just kind of sifting through all the free content, waiting for your chance to win. It's, you're going through the trial and error. You have an opportunity right now to go to the link below, salesmaster.com. It's going to bring you to the course, right? So you're going to see the basic package, the sports package, and the premium package. If money's tight right now because it's the holidays, I get it. But, um, you know, there are resources, whether it's credit cards or whether it's PayPal loans or whatever it is. If you really need a payment plan, hit me up directly. My email uh, is is on that website, but you can send it to help at sales remastered and I'll connect you. But I want to know that you you're hungry. I want to know that you hold yourself accountable because the only people that I want to work with are those who want to to win like not not persuade someone just to get off on them just to get over on them i, I want to know that you don't have a plan b i want to know that you you genuinely want to learn to earn right like you want to get get your family up to that higher level like you don't want to just go get that gucci suit and so <laughs> although that's probably what you want to do and Hey, to each his own. But I really hope you appreciate this message. Go check out the, the uh, Closing Secrets 101. It, it's a course that won't you know, not only pay for itself, but it's very thorough on how to get them from hello, you know, whether it's inbound, outbound, whether it's um, soliciting through realtors or purchase methods, um, all the way up to, to you know, congratulations, escrow close or congratulations, your loan's funded. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you everything with, in between. So teach you how to do the process. It'll teach you how to do it efficiently. It'll teach you how to make more money, make more sales, make more, you know, un hit more unit tiers. And it's going to get you the income that you want. And if you don't have enough ducats or enough dough to get the, the premium package, which is the sales boost camp, in time, boo boo. Like, work your way up. But how to even take step one is you want to go to Closing Secrets 101. Again, click the link below, salesremaster.com, and it'll tell you more information about it. And I'll see you there. Bye. Yeah, gotta stick to the G codes. Yeah. I keep a stick everywhere I go. Huh. I'm from the section where the Asians cold. Frontline pressing, never nigga trying to get bold. Married to the streets, I need a wedding ring.